Well, greetings, everyone. It is great to be able to be with you again. It's been a few days since I've done a congregational update, so I thought I would uh, bring some information to you. The first thing that I want to share with you is uh, we are overwhelmed by the incredible generosity of you, the members of this congregation. Thanks so much. As we headed into this um, unprecedented time with COVID-19, um, when we've suspended worship services for over a month now, uh, we had great wonderment about what would happen. Well, people continue to give their offering, and we thank you a great deal for it because it means that ministry can continue. There's important work that continues in Jesus' name, and we continue to think forward already. I'll talk more about that in just a little bit. I want you to know that um, the other thing that we've seen besides offering for general support of the ministry, incredible generosity when it comes to the food pantry that is here at Trinity. And let me tell you, that food pantry is getting used each and every day. We've had a number of people who have uh, given us gifts of money or brought in lots of food. And we thank you so much for that, uh, as do the people. Um, who are receiving the food. Jan has a wonderful relationship with many of them. And even though the pantry is outside, she's still connecting with them from time to time. And they are very grateful for what is happening here at Trinity. I also want you to know about a special gift that was given to us. Uh, we have a member of Trinity who serves on a regional Thrivent board. Uh, that person gets to designate a ministry to receive a $10,000 grant. We'll be receiving $10,000 here within the next 10 days or so. 6,000 of that uh, by the donor's uh, direction will go to the banquet, which is going to be an incredible gift to them because donations to the banquet are down. 4,000 of it will stay here at Trinity. We'll set it aside in a special account. And here's where you come in. We know that there are people in our community who have been hit hard um, through job loss and uh, we're looking for people, um, first of all, specifically members of the congregation that we could help. So we're going to be providing gift cards for groceries. Like I said, they'll probably be available within the next week to 10 days. If you know of the name of someone who is having a difficult time, let us know. We will reach out. We won't uh, share how we got the tip or whatever, but we will provide them uh, with a gift card to one of the grocery stores in town so that they can continue to help people. If um, if we find that there isn't that need, um, we will expand the circle. So keep that in mind, call the church office, um, and we'll connect that way. As your pastor, one of the things that I wanna tell you is that um, it's difficult to do pastoral care. I am not used to doing pastoral care through telephone calls, um, but that's what we've been moved to. I am not used to not being able to go to the hospital when someone is going in um, for whatever the reason is. And so while we try to make contact through phone calls, that has been difficult in many cases. Um, please know that we are doing the best that we can, um, but sometimes we don't know if people are hospitalized either. Please reach out to us. Um, we would love to be able to sit and chat with you, spend some time on the phone, be in prayer, hear what's going on in your life. Um, know that that offer is open to you. It's been a great blessing <clears throat> to be able to start the live streaming uh, here at Trinity. We did our first live stream on Palm Sunday, and then we followed it up with uh, Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday. All three of those services went off without a hitch. We've heard a lot of great comments. If you tried to tune in at 8.30 on Easter morning, uh, you experienced technical difficulties. They were not on your end, and they weren't on our end either. It's the internet. Uh, it's the issue that a lot of people were trying to use the internet um, on Easter Sunday morning, and it didn't allow us to upload. So here's what we're going to do. 
Um, we are in the process of trying to figure out if it was a one-time glitch. So this Sunday, we're going to do things just like we did on Palm Sunday. If we run into technical difficulties again, then we'll have to take the next step of trying to look at recording our worship services earlier um, and then uploading them and playing them back in that 8.30 time slot. One of the factors that really plays into this is our radio broadcast, which is an incredible gift and we're not going to give that up. Um, we have been able to align both the radio broadcast and um, our live streaming. We might not be able to do that into the future. If we continue to encounter tef technical difficulties, we might need to figure out a way to record early. Um, it'll still look like it's live. The other thing that I want you to know is that uh, if there are technical difficulties on Sunday, uh, we'll go to work just as we did on Easter Sunday and um, process that video, which will be recorded, and then upload it to YouTube. It should be available by 11 o'clock Sunday morning. If things go off flawlessly, our plan will be to take that video and edit it down a little bit. Um, and provide it to you uh, in a shortened version for playback later on in the day. When we get back to worship here, um, we're going to need another uh, group of people who are willing to enter into a new ministry opportunity that we'll have. Uh, we'll need some people who are willing to run the video camera system and the recording system. I'm going to need to have someone who would be willing to take <clears throat> the uh, program and edit it down and upload it after the 8.30 worship service. So keep that in mind. You can email me or call the church office if you're interested in that ministry opportunity. One of the opportunities that has come to the surface in the midst of this um, COVID-19 crisis is that we've made a partnership with St. Luke in Wishick uh, and Pastor Brian Knutson. He needed some help on the technology end, but he has incredible gifts in Bible study. So I want you to know uh, that um, Pastor Brian has started a Bible study that will be uploaded each Wednesday. Uh, we hope to have it up by noon each Wednesday, he's going to walk us through the book of First Peter, um, and those episodes will each be about 12 to 15 minutes long. So why First Peter? Well, that is the book that is the continuous second reading in worship through the season of Easter. Pastor Brian was pretty excited to have the opportunity. So here's what I want you to know. Um, you'll be able to see that uh, through our Facebook page. You can also at any time go to Trinity Lutheran Church Bismarck on the YouTube, search for our channel, uh, and you can watch any of the videos. So we, we store it or park it on YouTube, and then that and all of the other videos that we've been doing are there. We really invite you to subscribe to YouTube. It's our understanding if we get 100 subscribers, uh, we'll get a easier to use code to get people to that site. Um, I think we're at 92 subscribers, so we're this close. Help us out. The last thing that I want to share with you um, is kind of a wonderment. What does it look like when we come back? The president has begun starting talking about what it looks like with the opening the economy back up. The governor um, is already thinking forward. That's what I hear in news reports and when I've been able to listen to his live uh, daily briefings. Um, it's going to be a little while yet. This won't happen overnight. But you could really help us out either by a phone call or an email to tell us um, what do you expect to be different in life after this is over? How are your habits going to have changed? When you come into the building, what are you going to expect? When we gather together for worship, what are you going to expect now in a different way uh, so that you can feel safe? Anything else that you want to think about, about coming back to worship and being here? We're really looking forward to the day when that happens. Uh, we have already begun some planning about what a celebration will look like eventually. I don't think we can do that right away. I think that 
we're going to be expected to ease back into this worshiping. But um, we're going to have to do some celebrating at some point of being back together again. God's graciousness and God's faithfulness. The last thing I'd like to ask is that um, if you've got some background in public health and would like to be part of uh, a small task force that will just be meeting maybe for the next three to nine months to help us think about how we continue to provide um, excellent worship in a safe manner in the midst of this new highly contagious virus, um, I'd love to hear from you. I'd like to gather a group of uh, myself and four to six people to help us think forward. Well, those, that's a bit of an update from here at the church. God bless. Know that our phone is always available to you. We'd love to be able to chat, uh, to listen, uh, to pray with you. God bless. We'll talk again soon.